Bowling Green and Western Kentucky University, stay where Big Red stays, the Holiday Inn University Plaza, where you will be greeted by a friendly staff and enjoy comfortable, spacious rooms, delicious food, an indoor pool and spa. And let Holiday Inn drive you to Western Kentucky University in their complimentary shuttle. Special rates available for WKU visitors. Call 270-745-0088 or visit us at hibowlinggreen.com. Chad opens the barn at 5 a.m. Cindy works the land her grandfather plowed. Stan calls them his girls. And Allie just likes to feed the calves. These are the farmers of Prairie Farms Dairy, bringing you the farm fresh quality your family deserves. And we pledge not to treat our cows with artificial growth hormones. We are Prairie Farms Dairy. From our family to yours, farmer owned Prairie Farms. The Hilltoppers take on Brescia, Saturday, December 28th at 7 p.m. And Ole Miss, Monday, December 30th at 7 p.m. For tickets, call 1-800-5-BIG-RED. Choosing a college is a major decision. So why did I choose WKU? Because at WKU, professors are experts in their field. I'm encouraged to study abroad. And make the whole world my classroom. And where I get real world experience. Doing exactly what I want to do and where I have all the tools I need to prepare for a successful future. It's all within my reach at Western Kentucky University. Randy and Hal back with you on a simulcast of WKU basketball from Dental Arena. Our second half is brought to you by U.S. Bank. It is U.S. Bank Day. Here at Goodall, Murray State by 5, 33-28. Over the last 10 minutes, Al, the Hilltoppers have scored the Racers 18-9 to get back in it. Yeah, and finish the half on a little mini run, outscored them 6-2. Uh, keep it within five. That's certainly respectable. And you got to figure T.J. Price is not going to go the rest of the game and be held scoreless. Here comes Payne front court. Jump pass coming ahead of the key to Farrell. Hands it off, left-handed. Payne comes to the baseline with a left-handed dribble, and he traveled as he jumped. A pass back out to the right wing. So Payne has turned it over. Payne has been quiet offensively. In fact, he hasn't scored a point. That is his second turnover. He's had two assists and two turnovers, and he on the season is averaging about five and a half uh, assists and half as many turnovers. Now mentioned Price has scored us underneath pass coming out front from Doc Stefant, wheeling and dealing, dumps it on the other side of the block to a Dayoui, who drops it and gets it back. It comes to his right for Oak shot. Good! We have seen that so often this year. Odeoui and Fant playing catch with one another. One is on one block down low, and the other is on the other block. WKU to win three, 33-30. Just getting started, second half. Bounce a little Farrell against Odeoui. Banging into Odeoui's double team. Fighting through with a hook shot, missed it wide. Jackson rebounding for WKU. Jackson running the other way from right to left. Princey headed a key in front court. He'll top us down three, right side Price. Out top of Dayoui. T.J. Price hasn't scored. He scored 10 or more in 20 in the last 22 games. Dox makes a catch and a wide pass from the red towel at half court. Rachel's in a man to man. Twin circles for Pant. Face guarding T.J. Price's fields and field fouls him as Price was cutting to the ball. He'll extend an arm and uh, inhibited T.J. Price's ability to cut to the, to the basketball. That's why he's a whistle on the foul. Steve Prom has made sure that they have shut down Price. He's only attempted three shots. Price in the corner, firing a three. Short pulled down to the free throw line by Moss. Racers are running. 25-foot bounce past the field. The shot was picked off the board by a day away for a goaltending violation. And the racers go back up by 5, 35, 30 with 18, 38 left. Here is Dox the other way. Murray State gets it and goes after missed shots and turnovers. No hesitation. Different starting five this half. Dox picks up the dribble, nearly travel, lobs it top of the key to George Pant. Cross court to Price on the right wing. KG back out top, stopping. Baseline to George, open from 10, dribbles to his left. Jump pass to Trency, a three from the left. Pulled down by Fields of Murray State. Fields banged into Williams. 
two teammates, and they're both shaken up as Payne will walk at front court for the Racers, and Murray State's up by five points. Two minutes gone by, second half. Firing a nice pass, let it waves is open, let it in. About a 20-foot chest pass. And Williams got away somehow. It was wide open underneath, and he caught quickly, went up. Racers have scored two baskets in a row. That lead is back up to seven points. Murray State led by as many as 14 in the first half. Docks to Price, left to the key, he falls down. Puts his hand down as the third late, and now bounces it on a baseline. The fan goes to his right, and lost his footing, but he's fouled by Farrell. And Farrell goes, what was I supposed to do? George is leaning in to be falling down on the dribble, and Farrell fouled him. Well, he reached in and tried to poke the ball away, which he did, but he's just not going to allow that type of defensive play from behind the player to happen. Here is Docks with an inbounds pass from the baseline in front court. Setting a screen into Price for a left corner three. In and out, rebound Odeoe with a dribble, a hook shot is down. Good strong move by Aaron Odeoe, dribbled once to gather himself and exploded up with the little right-handed soft jumper. Tops down five, 37-32. Murray State quickly brings the ball front court and now Cameron Payne backs up with the dribble over on the red towel. WK on a man. Payne tipping his right ear with his forefinger to set up a play. Either that or he had an itch. I'm going to go with a play call. I think so. Here's Moss on the right wing. Foul line field. Dumps it down low to Farrell. Nice pass spinning out of control, but then Fant, for some reason, went up to block the shot, and I don't know that Farrell was even going to shoot the ball, and George fell down on top of him for a foul. Well, he certainly thought he was going to, and there to help out, went, went up high, came down on his back. Well, evidently he was shooting as I see the replay, and he'll shoot two free throws. Second foul on George Fence. Jonathan Farrell has an attempt at a free throw, and he does not shoot them well. 16 makes, 18 misses. That is a 47% free throw percentage, and he has two. Off to our right with the racers, running by a handful. And he misses that one. Murray State, a 62% shooting team. They are now four of nine. Fant comes out, and Rostov is in. Farrell averaged 18 points and 12 boards in junior college a season ago. Line drives that one up. It's no good. Wedging between the backboard and the iron. And Odeoe has the uncontested WKU rebound. The toppers are down five. Jackson in the ring, middle rings the price in the left corner to Docks. He's fouled off dribble by Cameron Payne. And now Payne has picked up three. That's three on Payne. Credit Harrison Docks for that. He realized that Payne was off, off balance coming uh, closing out on Harrison Docks. And Chris just took it right to him. Knew he was going to get the call. I think the two midterm transfers, Dox and Jackson, that's what they add more than anything to this team, other than toughness, is ability to really force fouls because they can break you down off the dribble. Dox throws it deep out to Jackson and makes a leaping catch on the red towel. Yeah, I agree. That's such a such a valuable tool in the offensive bag of tricks, and Toppers just really were lacking that so far in the season. Dock's right wing was at a shot. It was. It was an air ball. Jackson goes crashing into the photographers. And here comes Murray State running the other way. Sap hard to the hole as he goes up for a shot. He is fouled. 16-24 left, second half, and Sap will shoot two. Racers have shot 10 free throws. Hilltopper is only five. And when WK has shot more free throws than their opponents this year, they've won every time. Here is T.J. Sapp with 12 first half points. He went four of eight and hit two of four from three-point land. He makes a free throw. He had back-to-back -back layups on steals. And then like maybe 10 seconds apart. Sapp hits a free throw, races back up by six. 38-32. And Sapp makes it 39-32, Murray State. Here's Docks the other way. The toppers have been within three at 33-30. And now they're down seven. A daily right in a key front court. Come drive to the baseline. Up strong and quickly on Williams and scored it on a back shot. Jarvis couldn't gather and jump quick enough to try to block that shot. I haven't seen that out of a daily this season, but a good take off the dribble. He lost handle on it, somehow got it back 
got the score. Adaley now has six. Moss on the right wing. The field's up to the key with the Hilltoppers down by five. Four minutes into the second half. It's 39-34. Fields got open. Shoots a three from the left. It's short, but Price didn't block him out. Fields got the rebound. Back to Sapp for a right side three, and that is good. 17 for T.J. Sapp. 42-34. But just, just because you're a guard, you cannot assume that you don't have to rebound. And the basics of rebounding are first and foremost, finding the shooter. You've got to put a body against them. In that case, the ball came right back to him. Dox to Daly, fumble the pass out front and gets it back and throws it at half court to Dox. Sometimes the players used to scoring and not scoring will let that affect the rest of his game. And Price has not played well at all. Jackson the double team on the baseline, back on the right wing to Dox, top of the key to Daly. He faked the jumper. Deep to Dox on the right side, to the top of the key. Deep on the right to Trency. Dribbles to his right to the baseline. Will shake and bake, fall back, 14-footer. Airballed it. And it's batted away. Price gets it inside, knocked away by Murray State, out of bounds. Good 14 to eight to play. Racers by eight, 42-34, here in our second half from Diddle Arena. And you're watching and listening to the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network. Produced by ESPN3 for IMG. Ouch, that's going to leave a big red mark. Ouch, that's going to leave a big red mark. Ow, that's going to leave a big red mark. Ouch, that really did leave a big red mark. Leave your own big red mark, the WKU store. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, the Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. Customer Aaron Swenson ordered shoes from us online, but they didn't fit. Customer's not happy, I'm not happy. Sales go down, I'm not happy. Merch comes back, I'm not happy. Use UPS, they make returns easy. Unhappy customer becomes happy customer. Then, repeat customer. Easy returns, I'm happy. Repeat customers, I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. I ordered another pair. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. The racers are in front, 42-34 in our simulcast today over WKU, 14-58 remaining in this second half. It's now time to break down those keys from Ray Harper in a radio pregame show in a simulcast. That was guarding Murray State off the dribble and rebounded. How are they uh, going with the keys so far? Better in rebounding than the dribble penetration. Murray with uh, 10, 10 assists, only eight turnovers and they've equaled the top of score in the paint with 22. Rebounding tops have a one board edge. The toppers have the ball in bounds in front court, down by a Jackson left wing. They're trying to get it in low to a daily, going on top of Rocio between circles. Rocio dribbles on one, hands it off to Jackson, and whistle. The moisture on the floor in front of the Hilltopper bench. Officials stop the play with 23 seconds on the shot clock. Our keys brought to you by Lisa Buick GMC Cadillac. Here's uh, Princey Jackson from the left wing. Jackson leads the Hilltoppers in points with 10. Murray State is led by Jarvis Williams, 14. And T.J. Saps, 17. Shot clock's at 23 seconds as the floor is dried off. But now Knox has it at half court with a dribble. Crouching to the top of the key to the foul line extended area and stopping. Bouncing a little day a week to his left with a shot inside. It was blocked nicely by Williams. Here is Sapp as he gets the pass and comes front court with a waist-high dribble. P.J. Sapp now backing up against Jackson. And it's Murray State's fourth block shot. Spins away from Frenchy, went for the steal. Frenchy catches up with it. And now they play a little cat and mouse out front. And he falls down with a dribble. And Jackson coerced him into a turnover. That was some individual battle there from Saf and Jackson, and Jackson won that one. Defense prevails, so now you've got to cash that into two points, cut into this eight-point Murray State lead. 
KC and TCS would like to remind you that higher education begins there. The ball boy will be at backcourt on TV today, getting some TV time. Probably more interested on when Santa Claus is going to show up. He's a little fella. He sure is. Well, it's not too far away, young.